Walker Township Design Review Board, October 13, 2010. We have um, the new agenda's five items, Matt. I'm sorry, but I thought this is one I pulled out of my packet. Six, okay, I'm sorry, okay. Uh, six items, uh, two continue from last month. Uh, so we'll kind of jump right into it. If people could turn their cell phones off, we'd appreciate that. And when you speak, if you can make sure you speak into the microphone, uh, that works too. And if you have any drawings you want to put on the table, the camera will see them upstairs and it'll be a scene on the television at home. So the first um, item on the agenda is DRB-10-34, <coughs> Customers First Bank at 153 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for two wall signs and two window signs. Is customer first here? No. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, so we will uh, table them. If they come in, we'll let them back, back up. Okay, so we'll go right to DRB-10-33, Wells Fargo, and also continue from September. That's 599 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for two ground signs and three wall signs. Uh, good evening. Good evening. How are we doing? Good. Can you just introduce yourself and tell us who you are, what you all are doing. Uh, I'm Brian with uh, Icon Identity Solutions. We're the, the sign company doing the the, uh, the signs. Okay. Um, yeah, Wachovia and Wells Fargo merged um, just a bit ago. And come April 11th of 2011, they're going to just be using uh, Wells Fargo signs. So we're pretty much just um, trying to switch out uh, the existing signs that read Wachovia to uh, similar square footage signs that read Wells Fargo. Okay. Sure. I actually have a, a couple copies if you guys would like. Um, do you need something, Tom? Do you need a copy? I've got. Did anything change from the submittal last month? No, it's all the okay. same still. All right. Okay. So this is behind the Radnor Hotel and. Um, I'm sorry, we're talking two wall signs and what else? Uh, three wall signs. Three wall signs. Yes. And then the, there's two current multi-tenant uh, monument signs that we'll be doing a face replacement for. Okay. And then um, a directional sign also. Okay. All right. Well, why don't we just go through, we'll start at the beginning. Um, do you want to do the monument sign first? Is that? Sure. Okay. That works. Um, this one we're just removing. The exist, there's a plaque that's the exact same, the same size, um, one foot six and a half by three foot three and a half. Um, we're just, there's the one there currently reads Wachovia. The new one would be, look the exact same, just uh, read Wells Fargo. Okay. Um, <clears throat> on your photo montage here, it looks like it's a slightly different background color than the others. Is it going to be the same? It, it will, it'll be the same. Um, what is that material? It's it'll it's like a wood plaque. Okay, so it's going to be wood. Well, this says new formica covered foam face. It'll it'll it's like there's like a foam middle, but then it's it'll the outside will be wood. Okay, why does it say formica? Um, I believe that's a type of wood. No, I, formica is a no? plastic laminate. Oh well, the, oh, sorry, a little close. It will be. I'm not sure why it says that. Then it will be a wood a wood panel. Um, I thought you were the sign manufacturer. Who are you guys? No, the, the the people who manufactured the signs, the ones that are currently there. We're, we are the ones that are, will be manufacturing the, the new wall signs, but for this tenant panel replacement, um, we'll contact them and have them uh, you know who manufacture. Made these signs? I believe it was um, City Sign. Okay, so well, that's Everything clearly going to be a condition of the approval, if there is an approval. Okay. Okay, so city sign or same manufacturer. So that's the monument. We want it to be con the same materials, right? Same materials, and it's got to match color and everything. So. Mm -hmm. 
just throw it back on them, I guess. Okay. Okay, so that, are you okay with that? Um, yeah. Are you okay now? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we go, um, I'm sorry, there's one monument sign, there's two monument there's signs. There's two monument signs. Okay. All right, so there's one at Lancaster Avenue and then one where the ingress to the property is. Correct. Okay. All right, and the second one's the same It'll be, yeah, drill. Yeah, the same, okay. exact same as the first one. All right. Okay, so we have that. Um, again, be the same, same version. Okay, so now we go to the wall signs. Currently, um, they just have flush mounted channel letters illuminated um, on the, f the first sign here. Uh, we would just be replacing it with an illuminated sign on a, on a staging panel. No, no logo? No, just, just the uh, Wells Fargo copy. Okay, so what is that? That's, that's like a red aluminum? Correct. It would be... Um, it's actually not aluminum, it's like a, a polycarbonate, plastic. Okay, 12 inch letters, and they're internally illuminated? Correct. With what, LED lights or something? LED, yes. <clears throat> okay, and where does this occur? It occurs above the door on the east side, correct? Yes, this one faces the, uh, the street. Okay. Um, I'm looking at drawing EO3. What is EO3B? Yeah, I didn't understand that. Um, EO3B, because we would be in, our, our plan is to be installing these in the next two months. We're, we're installing now at other locations. Um, but since they're not unveiling that it's, they're using the Wachovia name until April, right. it's a temporary banner. Um, there's clips that go on the letters, and then the banner's uh, screwed into the clips. And it's so how long were you going to have that up? Um, we were planning on having it up from in time of install until April. Um, hey, Matt, sorry. That's okay. I'm so turning me How long can somebody keep a fixed permanent sign covered with another name's banner? I, if, if it's if there's a if there's a I, I would consider that temporary signage. Right. So that's it, it'd, be, it'd be 30 days. 30 days. Oh, that's that's not a problem. We could we could just move the install date back until okay until March. Okay. Um, but I'm confused. At the bottom of EO3B, you have a Wachovia, but you have a red background. It's because the banner, the banner. only covers the the letters. It doesn't because the so letters. So you're putting up the sign box, but not. The Wells Fargo, or you're going to have making the sign and then covering it with the. We're going to be yeah, the making the sign. The letters stick out from the the actual staging panel. Okay. Yeah. yeah well, I think. I mean, why do all that? Why not just wait, like you're saying? <laughs> that's a that's a pretty good. <laughs> the goal of Wells Fargo was because of the number of uh, branches in the area. Yeah. When they finally did unveil the name, they wanted it to make. Uh, an I'm sorry. Can can you get up to the? Sorry. That's okay. If the people at home can hear you. Great. Thank they, you. They wanted it to just have an instant impact, so there was no confusion. If someone out in Westchester right. came over here and saw this branch unveiled, why isn't mine Wells Fargo yet? So really the unveiling takes place across the whole state over a weekend. Mm -hmm. So their goal is to get everything installed. And, uh, just so they're installing them piecemeal over a period of months in different locales. Right, okay. and then it's okay. still going to read the Wachovia name, and then it's going to come off over the weekend. Okay. But we can hold you back. You can hold that. back for mm -hmm. 30 days. Yeah, okay. the 30 days isn't a problem. We'll put that in. The All right, you got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay, you okay with this sign? Yeah. All right. Um, now you also know. I don't know if you saw the sign code, but when you replace any of these signs, and in this case, particularly the Wachovia, the logo to the left, mm -hmm. is on a stucco fascia of some sort. Right. You have to repair all that? Yeah, we, um, what, hap what we do, we take the sign down and we have a wall restoration crew come in and they, they will okay. repaint that whole, the whole band. Fill and repair and paint, it. any holes, anything? Yeah, they'll okay. fill it, they'll make it look like there was okay. actually nothing all right. up there. Okay. <coughs> all right, so that'll be repaired. Okay. 
So that's uh, EO3, and that's called EO3B, and then you've got EO3, or excuse me, EO4, which is around the corner, right? Correct. That's on the, on the entrance road yep. facing that way. Um, that one they have, there's uh, plate letters, flush-mounted plate letters there um, currently, and we right. would be looking to install the uh, same size sign as EO3. Okay. Is the old Wachovia sign the same size? front and side? Um, no, the the side sign, um, I believe, there's measurements on here. Let me, the one on front is um, is larger than the ones on the side. But you want to put the same size Wells Fargo on the front and the side? That's what we're proposing. Um, we do have different standard size staging panels, so I mean we can go down, we go down to like a 10 inch which would a 10 inch letters the letter height so every I mean it would it would shrink to about nine feet it's nine inch difference Matt, right. I'm sorry is each sign with their frontage allowed 50 square feet more or less it, it, it's a cumul like? it's it's zoned planned business yeah so they can go they have a higher threshold they can go 75 square feet for the two signs no, well, each. Uh, on each street frontage it's a cumulative of 75 okay. all right we're still well under. so you can't they have three signs we're going to get to that in a second. I didn't know there were allowed three signs, but um, I'm just adding up the 21 plus okay. 21. Uh, well, actually, you know, if, if there's three sides, technically you can consider that that entryway into um, the financial center. Well, that's the one we're looking at now, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that the side by the driver. EO4 is the one that is faces the the entrance. Okay. Well, maybe we should cut to the chase. Then where is the third sign? EO5 actually faces. Um, the rest of the shopping center and Lancaster Avenue. Really? Is that the side of your building or the side of that wing? It's the same building, really? um, but it's just. It's facing Lancaster. Yes, it's. Um, if you were to look at it, if you were like coming in at the corner, you'd have. But does it does it jet out? It's yeah, it sticks out a bit. Right. So the last one he's talking about. No, that's one he was talking about before. So here is here's, here's the last one here, right? Here's Lancaster Avenue. So technically, I mean, you know, it's, I thought you were only allowed two, though, maximum. Basically, one per street frontage. I could see this being street, this being street. I think that's a stretch because this is this building goes like that. I think that's more along the street frontage. That's a real stretch to have. Yeah, I don't think they should have three signs. I don't think it's shut through. I don't even know I, how. I, what I would do, I, to be fair, it would give them an option, uh, but not but not three. One yeah. Place would be here, but they're going to have more. This would be their best visibility. Right. But. Uh, I don't know how Wachovia uh, ever got three. See this. They don't. Yeah, he's just showed them montage, right? Huh? No? Yeah, there, there is currently three installed. Yeah, we don't. We're, I, I'm at a loss to figure out how Wachovia ever got three signs. Yeah. Yeah. The code. Uh, you really don't have three frontages. Okay. Now, I mean, it's a stretch to even say the driveway is a frontage. If we allow you the driveway, mm -hmm. then the other one you're behind the hotel. That's not a frontage. Okay. So you could have an option of either or. Either or. Okay. Uh, the Radnor Chester clearly you can have. Okay. And you yeah. want that one because that's yeah, above that's your door and people driving by are going to see that. So I would say we give you guys. The, are you okay with that? Give you the option for the second one. Okay. And, and I'm not sure, honestly, how w Wachovia ever got that approved. Um, do you have an idea of which one they'd rather have? Or, I mean, we um, can leave it up to you all if you. No, I'm fine with that. We'll just leave it. Up. I would. I would have to double check with them. I would right. personally probably say, the one facing the access road, just so people coming up the other way could could coming see south, it. Coming south, yeah. Um, because the one that's on Radnor Chester, if you're going west on Lancaster, you'll, you'll probably see that one anyway. Yeah, when you hit when you hit the street, you can, you, it's visible from there. Okay, so you're all right with us leaving it the option to you all yes. to decide that. But still, when you re, you'll have to have the, your wall guys fix up. Oh yeah, yeah. Where when they the take one, the one the down, ghosting though. of the one's gone. Okay, all right. Correct. Okay, fine. Thank you. Are you doing the uh, Wachovia Center stuff? Oh, uh, the, 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 the you retire, right? It's already done. Tony's no, yeah, that one we we didn't have that one. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's now the Wells Fargo Center. No, oh, the job in South Philly. Oh, yeah. that one. Yeah. 
I know I get a new checkbook. And we have like um, years. we do have like a hundred and f almost fifty, just bank locations, or in like the Philadelphia area. It's a good account. Is it's a lot. It's like one hundred forty-seven <laughs> something like that. Okay. But no, we didn't get the stadium. Okay, so you it's an either or on those on the other, either the north or the south version. Okay. So you're okay with that? All right. Mm -hmm. Should we go to EO six? Nope. I don't have an EO six. Here. Uh, you don't? My packet sucks. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, these are just directionals? There's one directional, and then we're removing uh, the second one that's currently there. I don't have a problem with any of this. Right. So it's just a in kind, similar design. You okay with that? What's this? It's this. Okay. Oh. What is, I'm a little confused on this, the, um, oh, I see, that's just a pulled apart drawing, okay. I got yeah, it. this got shows okay, the, no the assembly. Yep, okay. That's internally made as well, or not? No, no that one is okay. not. Okay, all right. Okay, so there's one of these? G correct, just one. one. And then the other one, EO7, it's a sign that's in the drive through that we're just, we'd be removing. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Uh, EO7 is removal. Got that. EO7B. Just showing it there and then. Okay. Removed. All right. So back to the map. We've got the one on Reiner Chester. The option on the other two. This shows another. Is an ATM sign? There is. Am I missing something? In the plan, it looks like just. The red ATM is on the plane here. Do we have that? I don't have a cap. Um, oh, there's an ATM at, in, near the entrance, but that is not some. We're not doing. Oh, but it, somebody's going to do it. Someone else will have to come through. The company and do it. that does the. Uh, yeah, we're, we are not doing the uh, ATM branding. All right. Um, well, if you're talking to your client, they'll need to come in with that. Yeah, someone will. Someone will definitely okay. have to come in for that one. All right. Um, okay, any other comments, questions? You all right, Kelly? Okay. All right, does somebody want to make a motion then? Yeah, I'm going to go slow to make sure we don't screw it up, all right? Okay. In the matter of DRB 1033, Wells Fargo rebranding of the Wachovia branch, um, the following conditions. Both monument signs need to be the same materials with a color match as what is currently there. And the applicant is going to check with the prior sign company to verify that it is so. The wall sign, we do not want it covered for more than 30 days, so the installation period should be 30 days prior to when the rebranding weekend occurs. The wall sign that's, the wall signs that are taken down, including the old Wachovia logo that won't be covered up in addition to one of the three signs, uh, need to be repaired, the wall needs to be repaired. And there's only two frontages, not three, so there will only be two signs allowed. The applicant has indicated that he wants, or she wants, sorry, um, the Radnor Chester one plus one of the other two locations. We leave it up to you to decide which one of those two, and then fix the third location that was not used. Regarding the directionals, we would also like to see in-kind similar designs, and anything that is removed in the E07 arena needs to be repaired appropriately. Correct. With those conditions, the board moves for an approval. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thanks. All right. All right, good luck. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Just 147 more to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we back go through? No. Okay. You're on here first. Going back there? Sure, thank you. Um, did customers first bank come? Okay. All right, good evening. Good evening. Do you want to just introduce yourself again? And I'm D. Engstad. I'm with Egan Sign. Uh, we were in 
and had been approved for the signage at the July 14th meeting. Since that time, Customers Bank has been uh, has changed their name to just Customers Bank. At that time, it was Customers First Bank. Um, I I supplied new drawings to you, showing the new logo and the new color scheme, corporate color scheme. Uh, the sign signs will not change size placement. The only thing that will change is the color from the gray to the blue in the letters and the circle logo will now have a flag in it instead of the word first. So other than that, everything will remain the same that was approved previously at the July 14th meeting. It's a big logo. It is a big logo. I do, yeah. We don't have any preview over the size of the logo, do we? I'm sorry? The logo size. Is the code silent on the limitation of that? It'll be, it'll be taken into account for the overall size of the sign. Okay, so that'll be... Take the outer limits. You take the outer limits of that red dot mm -hmm. and the flag. Right. And I'm not sure... Do you have do you have a size of that logo and dot of the flag and the and the red dot? The, by chance? the logo actually will stay the same as what was previously approved. Okay. It's like thirty inches. We'll do. Yeah, that's right. It's thirty inches. Right. Do you have copies of the previously approved drawings? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I get forty square feet, so I think they're okay. I think it's a little aggressive, but we'll be accused of being anti-patriotic. Right. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess the only, co the only comment I have is that the former signage was kind of more higher. It was more for the building side. Mm -hmm. What is the material? Pardon? What is the material? It is an aluminum pin mounted letter. It'll be mounted to a panel. Uh, oh, when right. we originally designed the signs, uh, we kept within the same square footage that was there mm -hmm. um, from the original bank signs, the yeah. new century. So I, we I didn't think increase square footage no, at all. I know, it's I know, just but, a different design. But you know, as a sign designer, I think that's what Tony's saying is that. Um, there's a difference in square footage and what looks good. Okay. I think his comment, I'm not trying to speak for you, but I think I agree a little bit that it, that the, and we did approve it. I'm not saying that, that we didn't clearly. Um, it might fit a little bit better. It does look like to me the letters, the C and the B in the, in the bottom of all the lowercase letters it's are, on a white, are it's fairly on close white to the, it's, crowded. it's a little crowded on that yeah. box. Do you, you don't agree? The backgrounds will will be painted to match the existing background of the building. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, okay. Which is? It's probably like a grayish color uh -huh. uh, by age. So well, behind we will it, I see it's like clabbered. It's siding, yeah. It's like uh, vinyl clabbered. I mean, that'll help. Definitely. Sure. Um, The reason we're attaching it to the panel is that everything can be manufactured and attached, and right. that way there's uh, less damage to the wall surface. Mm -hmm. Whatever's removed will be repaired once the new Century Bank sign is removed 
the holes will be repaired and then we will place the new panel. Right. Well, it's certainly one of the most visible locations in downtown Wayne. Uh, again, I'll say the, I think the, you know, the lettering of the old sign, and you probably have a logotype that you use now, but I think, I still think the customer's bank is still at that, at that range of vision that somebody's going to be looking at. It's still, I think it's too big. But what do you think, Jim? I think it would be better smaller, too. The, the one problem is that that's their logo, correct? correct. That's their font. Well, I don't have any problem correct. with that, with a typeface. But yeah, just, just a little, a little aggressive. It, so it's not crap. It's a yeah. little big. I, don't, I wasn't here in July. Did you guys remember commenting at all on that? Were you here when the no. first go around? No. no. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can sure. recommend she advise, take it under advisement, but yeah. there's not a lot no. we can do. No. Think. I'd like to. Okay. Okay. So, can you make a motion? Just the way it has this. I, I don't see any. I mean, we can advise that they. We would recommend they. <laughs> yeah. right, well, uh, the matter of DRB 10-34, customers first bank. Uh, basically, just a name change. Uh, the board recommends approval. Uh, we'd like to see smaller type size, but that's purely a recommendation. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. Thanks for your time. All right. Good night. See you. Oh, what See, they're going back to the old Gap logo. Did you see that on the name? <laughs> it's an ugly logo. The new one? Yeah. They're going to get rid of it and go back to the old yeah. after a week. Okay, so um, we're now to the third item on the agenda, which is uh, DRB-10-38, <coughs> excuse me, White Dog Cafe at 200 West Lancaster Avenue uh, for two wall signs. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Jeff Carson, City Sign. Uh, before you this evening, on behalf of uh, Marty Grimms from White Dog and John Kelly from Eastern Property Group. Sure. Um, this is uh, not any different than the cabinets that he has currently located on the building. It does follow the criteria exactly. Uh, unfortunately, there was some miscommunication between uh, the guy who owns the restaurant and John as far as if this met perfectly with the criteria for which you've approved mm -hmm. everything in the center. Uh, so the signs are built and are already up, but uh, this is exactly the same, but with the one exception, that is instead of the approval that you've granted for uh, satin aluminum facing on all the copy, the tenant has white copy. It's still monochromatic, mm -hmm. se semi-gloss black background, but the copy is white. Uh, the copy is only halo illuminated. It does not illuminate through the face, so it's a one-inch push through and the sides of the uh, plexi are polished and the illumination is slimline LEDs, low voltage LEDs, and the light permeates only from the side of the, of the letters. I've seen the sign, it's very attractive. Thank yeah. you. Can't but, miss it. But so it's, the sign's doing its job, right? It is, they aren't open yet. They were supposed to have opened the end of September and uh, now they're calling for the end of October for the restaurant to open. It's close, I don't know how close, but, but uh, reasonably close. But it, but it matches everything else that Mr. Kelly and the folks at Eastern Property Group. Well, he's very there. demanding and very exacting. And I think he, he is. He has a nice property there. Yes. That's a beautiful oh, yeah. building. Oh, yeah. He's very uh, thorough. Yes, he is. Remind me, what are these two here? Who is that? Uh, one peanut butter is called and peanut butter and Jane. Oh. And the other one is the salon, which is um, you. Yes. All right. And we gave them a call. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and Charles Schwab's around the corner. No, I know. And, and when his first thing came in, it was absolutely gorgeous. And he's been a real advocate for keeping it mm -hmm. gorgeous. But, I mean, I would have a hard time denying the White Dog Cafe white letters. <laughs> yeah, that's their logo. The, the gentleman right. owns the restaurant. He has quite a few restaurants around. So he owns the Mashulu that's down on the river, if you know where that right. is. He owns uh, the White Dog program. He yep. has Du Jour. Uh, he owns a couple complexes that are down on the shore, the Daddy O complex that's in uh, LBI, and he has one in Miami. So he, he does a nice job with the restaurants. Right. Uh, I'm sure it'll be 
nicely finished inside as well. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, okay. okay. Where's the second wall side? So well, there's one on Lancaster, Lancaster and then there's one on the side. They have this, this is the same. I mean, oh, okay. Schwab is um, silver on black, right? Yes, sir. Mod that's correct. So there's just white on black. Yes, sir. That's correct. He started with all. He wanted it when he first came in. He wanted everything to be silver and black. He that did, and then for one, one tenant. No, Schwab did it. Right? Yeah, Schwab did it, and he's got a jewelry store that's going in there. It's going to be also be silver. Right. Okay. Black. All right. Then do yeah. we have a motion? Yeah. DRB Tony, you want to do it? Sure. I can handle this one. Yeah. It's short. DRB 10 38, White Dog Cafe. Two wall signs. Approved is submitted. Is there a second? Object? Second. Any objection? Hey, All while, you, while you're up here, your city signs? Yes, sir. Did you, do the, did you guys do the Wachovia sign? We did the piers for and I can't think of the name of the gentleman that owns the, oh. the Wayne Hotel. Um, Bages. No. Yes, Bages. That's yeah. correct. We've done a lot of work for Bages over the years, and we did build the piers. But I don't know anything about the building signage because I think that was consistent with what Wachovia's program was because it was a standalone facility. But we did build the piers for Bages, and they are uh, composite wood materials. You're right about that with mm -hmm. all dimensional elements. Okay. So Formica wouldn't really be the same. Uh, for what's there okay but as you know as Bages has had new people come in and out or upgraded they've always put them back exactly the same right right they haven't varied from that okay and it still looks nice I mean that thing's been there for geez I don't know probably close to eight eight nine years I would oh, wait is Burgess here Bages here I thought Joe was here for something he's not here okay all right well, thank you very much all right appreciate thanks. it thanks good luck Okay, that brings us to item DRB-10-39, Brother Spano Beer Garden of Garrett Hill, 157 Garrett Hill Avenue, or excuse me, Garrett Avenue, in Rosemont for two wall signs. Good evening. Evening. Bill Clark at KC Sign. Um, you guys have copies of some old artwork, so we brought a couple of revisions for you. They're a beer distributor, right? No, no, no. no. It's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. the old brick oh, bar. Oh, uh, yep. oh, oh, the brick? Yeah, it's the old brick bar. Okay, the brick bar. I don't know why we call it that. I haven't been in brick bar forever. It's got to be, what, <laughs> seven, eight years now? <laughs> exactly. Um, do you have drawings? I have the old drawings. I don't have These aren't. Were, it's, it's the same dimensions. Were they the in the packet or changed. you just had them from home? No, I, they're in the packet. Oh. That's the wrong one. I don't know. Oh, you got these. No, that's all right. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dimensions and material haven't changed from those drawings. The, um, oh, it's the just art the, uh, has changed. Both signs are it's a half inch thick MDO um, wood panel. Okay, you got to help me out. I'm sorry. The one on the table is the new, or that's the old. These are the the one here is the new design. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, the old the old designs had just a solid background and white text. Yeah, this is the old. That's the old, the old sign. Old. Looks like it's huge. Can I take one minute yeah. to go out to my car and get my envelope? <laughs> yeah. I forgot it. We yeah. fixed the scale <laughs> from the old one to the <laughs> new one. Oh, right, we're going to go on a holding pattern for one second yeah, no while problem. Tony gets his packet. But when you say old, this was the original submission? The, yes. You never came before. They came for us for the mural way back. Or yeah, I, we've never been here before. Okay. They no, called this us. This is what they sent us? That's what I went to and in between community you development. Sent this. If from the time we submitted the permit you changed to, the, it. Okay. to now, it changed. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not doing real business, but I, that like, I like that. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Are you KC signed too, sitting, or are you Spano? Uh, signed. Oh, I thought maybe you wanted Spano wanted to give us an advertisement. No, we're um, our, our main head of permanents up in Southampton on another appointment, so. We're filling in. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been to one of these. All right. A lot of fun, huh? Yeah, it's not too bad. Big. I've been to worse, which is, I guess, a compliment to someone. Come in with worst. Yeah. Is, is this, this has been revised? Since the artwork has been revised. Okay, so when you're done with that, I'll need a copy. Do you have an extra copy of I'll that? I'll leave them with you when we leave. Perfect. Do you have a copy of that? I don't. Only what it's no, on the table. On oh. uh, while we're in a holding pattern, what is the size of that? I see the the diameter of the circle is four feet. It's What's the B, the height of the B? Roughly 10 inches. Okay. So that's 16 square. 
Are you doing pi r squared? Two pi r. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. No, they're fine. Um, so th there's one on on Garrett, and yeah. where's the second one? The second one's over on the console. Oh, above the awning. Okay. Yeah. All right, gotcha. And you changed that one too. The design changed on that uh, one too. Okay. Wow, well, right. it's busy. Huh? Hmm. Yeah. That's 12 feet wide. So we got six feet combined. That's fine. 12 by 1. So 12 by 1, yeah. So that's 12 right. plus 16 is 28, 28 feet. So it's okay. What's, oh, sorry. what's <laughs> oh, you don't have that. All you have people. is existing. Yeah, it's their I'm website. Uh, We're on, um, no, no, I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. See if you can see it from here. Yeah, I was just going to ask because well, I got a band yeah. about yeah. that the real yeah. website. Yeah. All right, we'll come back to that. Let's. Right, right. I know, no, no, I'm doing right. Okay, so let's start with, the, there's two signs, Tony. Right. One is the circular on Garrett, and the other is on Conestoga. Mm -hmm. Put that one down, too which is over the awning. Let's, let's start with the circle, which is on Garrett, okay? Um, the B in Brothers is 10 inches high, he says. Sign, 16 square feet. Even, you know, if you go out to out. I, lo I think it looks fine. No, it looks nice. Okay. I recall when we did this originally. They had a mural. Yeah, you know, right. That's they painted the mural yeah, on right. Garrett. Yeah. I remember that. Okay. Um, and I'm sorry, the material again on that one is? Uh, it's half inch thick MDO. Uh, medium density overlay right. plywood. Um, and the letters are vinyl? It's a full color digital print. The entire circle uh, is printed okay. on vinyl and then laminated. Um, so there's something in the background there besides blue. It's a screen of some sort? Yep. It's um, it's actually a full design. A couple of circles. It's an abstract design. Okay. Um, the MDO itself will have an acrylic primer before okay. the vinyl overlay. All right. Are there any lights on it? Uh, not right now, no. So it's just going to be I think they're just using, there's a couple of spotlights over the window to the right of the sign. They're just using the ambient lighting. Okay. But nothing directly on, over the sign. All right. Um, are you okay with the circular sign? Sure. Okay. All right. So you're okay with that too? Yeah, I like it. All right. Let's go to the, um, there's no sign there now, correct? No, there's nothing over right. there now. And you know you have to put that on with blind fasteners? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll do a lot. So with the vinyl, how do you do that? Cleats of some sort? You actually go countersink the screws into the MDO and then you cover that with vinyl. Yeah, you do, okay, you put the vinyl on in, in place. Yeah, what we do is we'll, we'll right. do patches over the screws okay. if you need to access them, you can. All right, gotcha. Okay, so let's go to the sign on, over the awning. Um, the square footage looks fine. Mm -hmm. I think the lettering is probably fine. Um, it's, as Matt said, you want to say it? <laughs> busy. It's very busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is very busy. 12 inches by 12 feet. Yeah, they're okay in the square footage. Yeah. Um, you have a lot in there. I tell you what I would do right off the bat. Um, I like the other sign, <clears throat> and they're not here tonight, so it's hard to say what they would want to do. But <clears throat> clearly, the establishment's brother Spano. Uh, Beer Garden Garrett Hill is secondary information. Mm -hmm. I think by making Beer Garden Garrett Hill, even though the letters are smaller than brothers, if you squint, your eye goes to that much more than it does Brother Spano. Yep. I would severely scale back on Beer Garden Garrett Hill, and I not only say that as a designer, but I say that knowing the residents of Garrett Hill. Mm -hmm. As soon as Beer Garden goes up, you don't, if you don't know the history of that property, those people are going to go ballistic. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not your problem. In, you could say it's not even the owner's problem, but don't you agree? You know Garrett Hill yeah. and well, yeah. the history of that property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you'll still be able to read it very well if you take the scale of the... Scale that down and go with the thinner font. Yeah, put yeah. a little more air around it. Sure. It'll, be, it'll read better. It's so crowded. Yeah, I would say Beer Garden, Garrett Hill. My own, and I don't want to design it for you, but I, I think the height of the, the that slash over Spano, which mm -hmm. is a nice touch, I mean, I would put, I would try to get all that below... Beer Garden and Garrett Hill, much smaller. Okay. I mean, almost the proportions you have on the circular one. Mm -hmm. 
the combined beer garden Garrett Hill is a little bit larger in Spanish. Yeah, I mean, I but not much. I go right to beer. Okay, but that's just me. <laughs> you th you're okay with that? Sure. Yeah. Do you think they'll be okay with that? I, I think they will. We'll scale it down, thin the font up a little okay. bit, draw more of the attention to Spano. Wait, that to range, you've got to read it very well anyway. Now, let me say one more thing. I don't, again, I'm, I don't want to get out of our territory here. Um, the silhouettes, which they had the mural, and you know, I thought it was kind of interesting, but there was this whole version of, you know, did you ever see the mural? I haven't. Okay. Um, Have you was, heard about the mural? I heard. <laughs> um, I, we didn't see, by the time we got up there, the wall was painted. Well, I mean, we could spend all night discussing, you know, one person's Michelangelo's, another person's <laughs> graffiti. So there was problems with the mural. Sure. Da, da, da. Um, is there a reason the, the silhouettes are kind of interesting? I even thought they were interesting on the on the uh, the oh, original. Sure. And I guess my question is, why are they black? Everything else is white and values of blue, and they're dead black. Is that because they were black? It, on the it's mill? part of their 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 logos and their business cards and their letterheads. They, they have use the same thing? silhouettes. Do they? Um, they incorporate it within their. their it's always design. black, though. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we, we get into this all the time when somebody has well, the customer's bank. That was their logo. Mm -hmm. I don't like that font. I don't like the royal blue, but that's what it is. Sure. So we can't tell people not to do their logo. I think for the building's sake, I think it would blend in better um, mm -hmm. if it was toned down a little bit personally. Okay. But otherwise, and that, again, is, is a vinyl decal? Correct. Same construction as the oval sign. Right. Part of our job is not just to look at signs and uh, take them apart, but we also provide, I think, a lot of very good advice because we believe in the business in Wayne and mm -hmm. we want businesses to do well. Sure. Uh, that's part of our effort. And uh, so any advice we give you is well meant. We're not trying mm -hmm. to make it difficult for the owners. We're trying to make it easier. No, I'm just because we want them to survive. Yep. Tough, it's a tough world out there right now. Yeah. Okay. So, do we have enough for a motion? Um, yeah. Although, what are we motioning? Well, well, prior, I just have a, a question. Oh, I want to talk about the website too. The, oh, the um, website. I'm sorry, I forgot is the website that. Website kosher. On website. the on the wall sign. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you can pretty pretty much whatever you want. Um, oh, on a wall sign can on mine. Okay, good. Yeah, on, on awnings, it, it gets it's specific. Right. I, I don't know if you can. Uh, I've had a few questions asked of me. If if you can answer, is great. Beer Garden of Garrett Hill. Now, does this mean that they're the neighbors have asked me? Does this mean that people are going to be drinking outside now? Is there the intent is to have outdoor dining? Can you answer any of this? That I have no idea. Okay. Because it, 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 it seems to me right now that, that that's what it's expressing, but it's it's not allowed in that area. From you, what I understand, the history of the property, it's, it's always an indoor establishment. Okay. It just, but yeah. I, whether he plans on having it or not, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Great. Um, well, the garden I mean, if he in, does plan on it, he can have it for one night. And it's just, <laughs> correct? The garden is yeah, inside. Yeah, if even that. <laughs> the garden is inside, I guess. I mean, if I'm you, I punt. Yep. I'll, I'll come with that. Anything else, Matt? No, I'm, that's all I, I needed to okay. know. Thank you. Oh, and so we're okay with the uh, yeah. website. So, so in the matter of DRB 1039, Brother Spano, Beer Garden of Garrett, Indoor Hill. Um, the review board approves with no conditions the circular wall sign on the side regarding the wall sign along Conestoga the beer garden, or the beer garden, Garrett Hill, not the of, or maybe the of, I don't know, are going to be scaled down to a, um, what size? Uh, As I put I'd say at least 50% and let them be Scaled designed. down 50% um, without any, without any scaling down of the Brothers Spano name to draw greater attention to the Brothers Spano. In addition, the sign manufacturer is going to talk to the owner to, to, to find out if the silhouettes could possibly be a different color to better match the rest of the color scheme. Okay, anything else? All right. Well, I get along. 
What's that? Did I get it all? You got it. I got it. Oh, is there a second? Second. Second. Third. Third. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. 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 That's nice. It's, it's a great improvement over the first version. Thanks. Looks good. All right. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Tell them good luck. Okay. I don't think they want to hear from me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that brings us to DRB-10-40, uh, Lynn Wayne Properties, 417 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne. Um, 19087 for demolition of an existing structure. Hi. Right. What's that? The whole thing's kind of complicated. Awesome. I was about to say, I thought so we were looking that. at signs. That's okay. Great. All yeah, right. So th this, will, this will be a little bit of change of pace from signs. I'm uh, Kerry Jackson Yance from Firm Architecture. I'm sorry, I didn't catch it's that. It's Kerry Jackson Yance. What where? we are proposing <clears throat> where are you from? is the demolition of 417 East Lancaster Avenue. Which is? Which is the opposite half of the dentist office. If you know where Ken and Dallas's dentist office is. This is right in front of the Pembroke North condominiums. Mm -hmm. the What's the dentist going to say when you take away half his office? He is in full support of this. Oh, okay. I think um, we went through, uh, this, this has gotten zoning approval. We went through quite an extensive zoning process to get uh, to get this approved and mm -hmm. that is uh, we, we've gotten full approval for that um, <clears throat> we did meet with uh, Dan and Ray a few weeks ago out on site oh, mm -hmm. Dan and Ray. we were initially given um, the feedback that maybe that all we would need to get the project through would be a demo permit and a grading permit which we now have but they recommended just because we'd gone through so much process up to this point, said, come talk to you guys just to make sure that nothing's going to come up later on that somebody's going to say, oh, well, you didn't go to the DRB. So uh, we're here to talk to you guys to, to show you what we're proposing. Are you planning on breaking anything other than the building? <laughs> no. Basically, it, the issue was the fact that we are putting a new face up on the party wall that's going to be exposed. Okay. Yeah. So. And this is its own parcel, even though it's a twin house. It's correct. Its own. It's its own lot. Correct. And the lot is now at part, one of the conditions of the zoning approval is that this lot will now be consolidated with the Pembroke North lot. Your parking lot. Your new correct. lot. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Okay. What? So I'm sorry. Okay. You're knocking this down, and something going up. We're knocking lot. this down. We're removing one half of the house. Right. It's going to become a parking lot, but we're going to put a new face on the exposed party wall. Right. What are you putting on the exposed party wall? If you could, all right, go to the next sheet, A11, is basically, or, or yeah, yeah, you can go to, to the rendering. Then um, basically the intent is to match so the... It's just to match the materials of 415. Mm -hmm. uh, we have met with the neighbors several times, and this was uh, the direction they gave us. And like I say, we've met with Ken and Dallas multiple times, and, uh, and this is the direction that they've given their approval to and they're happy with. Ken right. and Dallas? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I know the, Ray the, and... The, the, dentist. the dentist. Oh, the dentist, okay. We have also met with Le Levin's, and uh, there was, they had some feedback on um, mainly what we were doing on the east property line of uh, trees and wall. And you can kind of see mm -hmm. on L11, a lot of the landscape and the uh, fencing is uh, contingent upon some, some of the agreements we made with them. Okay. We have been to Shade Tree Regard <laughs> and got Shade Tree <laughs> approval. Regarding the, the wall, yes. you said you're going to match the colors and material. So you're going to use brick? Brick, yes. Real brick. Real brick. Not sticky stone. No, no, no. Real brick. Real brick. Real brick. And we've actually, this is getting pretty close to color and texture of uh, what's there. So uh, we're actually having, we're in the process of having some mock-ups made. To see no, no, it's okay. I just, there's a so huge no, difference in look between sticky stone and brick. Real brick, real stucco. They're actually, even for the stone base, they're going to save the existing Well, I was going to ask, why not save the existing brick? Uh, it's in no condition to, once they started pulling it all down, the brick itself is not in very good condition. Spalled? Yeah. We are reclaiming the rubble stone, the foundation part. 
Okay. Rick. All right. Yeah, we, we, we talked about it. Yeah, we talked about uh, they probably will save some of the gutter, so it's the same gutter. But okay. uh, so the intent is to save everything that they can and reuse. Are the right. gutters copper? But uh, no, oh, no. Well, just asking. But um, it, when we looked at the br condition of the brick, it just didn't look like. Okay. It were copper, it wouldn't be there. After. <laughs> so you're basically taking one wall, getting rid of the building, and then smacking that wall up against the other wall. Correct. Just out of curiosity, why are you adding more parking? Uh, you, are you the developer? Uh, I'm just curious. We, um, we have enough parking in, in the condo proper to... Uh, Underneath, right. yeah. And on the exterior to allow for two spots per homeowner. Yeah. But um, what that doesn't do is allow uh, for visitors and we find, we're finding that housemates and uh, cleaning people are showing up and it's really uh, pressuring the parking lot. So this is a, um, a dedicated lot for residents and it frees up the front of the building for visitors, visitors. and okay. staff. So All right. It'll be a gated lot. How many spaces you got? 13. Uh, 13. Mm -hmm. What's the price per space? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you a deal. If you, if you want to look up the records and see what the page for the cash is, what hammer price is. I don't doubt it. So, and the, the thoroughfare is, or the uh, apron is then deleted from, so there's no exit from that parking lot to 30. You have to come all the way out by Land Rover right. to get out here. Right. So it's actually, yeah, we're, and we're, you can see we have a nice little landscape plan out front. So, What's the building that we use? They're not, they're not staying not. the dentist. Yeah, oh. his, oh, they're yeah. just like, adding it's more parking just for Pembroke North. I, I, so. I'm trying to get my arms around it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm good. All right, Tony, do you have, and you've got a lighting plan on here and you're meeting all the foot candle requirements and blah, blah, Yes, blah. yeah, you can see the, the, uh, the lighting plans on right. there. And, uh, and basically it's just taking the same fixtures that are up at uh, the condo and mm -hmm. just running three of them down. Okay. Yeah. Shade tree, huh? Hmm. We're, we're done. We're, we're, we're I hope they're purple. white light fixtures. Yeah. And they're shielded. We don't want any purple lights. We don't even want any orange yeah. lights. They, they match what's at the condos. They're shielded to the Levins. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other comments? Okay. Somebody want to make a motion? Uh, in the matter of DRB 10-40, the board approves no signs and <laughs> have fun knocking it down. <laughs> Thank you very uh, much. Is there a second? Second. Oh. All right, thanks. Thank All right, you. Good luck. Okay. Um, there, um, Ida, not here? There was, a, there was a clerical error, and I'll make sure that it never happens again with Veta. She, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Same but, time. but, but, but. Um, good help for days. <laughs> no, there, there was, uh, they, they got it in after the deadline. Who, Ida? Uh, Ida did, okay. and uh, they wanted to be in, but it was a couple of days after, so. Uh, it was erroneously put on the agenda, but uh, I'll make okay. sure it won't happen again, but they're going to be in, uh, uh, in November. All right. Okay. Why do I have a Joe Birch Ryder Hotel, too? Really? That was for Wells Fargo, wasn't it? Was that? That was oh, probably that's Wells left Fargo. over. Oh, yeah. the landlord thing. Okay, I'm sorry. Never mind. Okay, so Ida will be continued. Uh, well, yeah, actually, we won't, we won't call it continued. We'll just, they're going to be. I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll be first on, new, on the November okay. agenda. Are you going to send us new one of these, or should I hold on to it? Will yeah, uh, if you can hold on to it, but just e I can scan a copy of where and I can email. No, I'm, it. I'm gonna hold on to it. All I'm right, hold on to it so Jim doesn't yell at me. If you don't need new ones, we don't need new ones. If, okay. we do, if they change stuff, okay. So, um, is there any more business before the board? Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion that we adjourn. <laughs> okay, I second that motion. So moved. Uh, thank you. <laughs>